histology, first thing we're going to talk about is hypospadias. This is the urethral opening at the bottom surface of the penis. So that's the bottom. Um, this is due to failure of urethral fold closure. So normally when you develop, you, you actually start with the urethra over here. And this right here is the urethral fold. Excuse my handwriting. And this closes from normally from the base of the penis to the head. It's basically like a zipper. It closes from the base to the head. Um, and then so this is how it normally closes. It goes like that, it goes like that. And eventually it ends up with the urethra nice at the tip of the glands of the penis. If this doesn't close for some reason, this doesn't happen. And you get the, um, the urethra meatus at the base of the penis somewhere. Epispadius is the opposite of hypospadius in my mind. To the urethral opening on the top surface of the penis. That's due to um, abnormal positioning of the genital tubercle. So I kind of just remember the, the hypospadias, urethral fold closure, like closing up like a zipper. And that tells me it's the bottom of the penis. And then I can remember epispadias because it's the opposite. It's related to the genital, genital tubercle. Now Peyronie's disease is an abnormal curvature of the penis due to fibrous plaque in the tunica albuginea. So let's erase this first. Okay. Um, you got a penis here. And it curves. That's Peyronie's disease. And that's because there's a tunica albuginea I'm going to draw out. And there's a big plaque right here causing curvature. And basically, your penis can be curved to the left, to the right, can be curved up. And patients will experience pain during an erection. Um, and there's sexual dysfunction because you can kind of imagine it's kind of difficult to get this into the vagina. Um, the next thing is priapism. That is an erection greater than four hours in duration and that is a result of decreased venous outflow so your vein your penis gets engorged there's a lot of extra pressure there compresses the blood vessels of the penis some of the arteries and then um, some of the penile tissue don't get enough blood and oxygen and that's how you get penile ischemia it's basically in my mind a compartment syndrome of the penis so that's why this is an urological emergency uh, there's many things that can cause this. Uh, first of all, sickle cell disease. If your cell is sickle, it can block up those vessels and basically block out um, blood from leaving. You can get medications like sildenafil, which is talked about, which causes an erection, or trazodone, which is, I also think about as trazobone, trazoboner. Um, and then you can also get some autonomic dysfunction because, as you remember, the autonomic nervous system is super involved in the physiology of the erections. So treatment is you can aspirate blood from the corpus cavernosum. You're basically providing a way to get rid of blood from the penis, de decompressing it. And the second thing you can do is you can inject some phenylephrine. So remember we just talked about how phenylephrine can, um, it causes vasoconstriction of the arteries, thus decreasing blood flow into the penis, um, which would re reduce the erection. If that doesn't work, you've got to go to surgery. Uh, finally, we're going to talk about squamous cell carcinoma of the penis. And I've placed all this pain, penile pathology here. I've ruined the whole order of all the things. And, and that is because of this. Because this is just basically the same thing as squamous cell carcinoma. The vulva of the vagina and of the cervix. The risk factors are HPV infection. I'm not going to belabor that anymore. And the second thing that you have to remember is that having an uncircumcised penis is also a risk factor. And specifically, it's an uncircumcised penis that has not been well taken care of. It's dirty, it's not been cleaned, and that basically causes irritation of the penis. Uh, irritation is, if you remember, basically irritation displays your cancer. Uh, you can also see some precursor lesions, uh, basically in situ carcinoma of the penis. So there's Bowen disease. Bowen disease, that's leukoplakia of the penile shaft. So leukoplakia is that white skin color. Erythroplasia karat is erythroplasia of the glands, so it's like a red, red um, circular lesion on the glands of the penis. And bolinoid papulosis has multiple reddish papules on the penis. I would suggest that you Google image all of these just to get a mental picture of what, what is what. The way I remember this is bolinoid papulosis obviously has the papules. Erythroplasia of karat has erythroplasia. And I remember the location First of all, bonoid papillosis is all over the penis. Um, and I remember the location of Bowen disease because I just remember a bow shaft. So this is a bow shaft right there. So Bowen's disease uh, goes on the penile shaft. 
and then then erythroplasia goes on the other spot, which is the glands of the penis. All right, done.